The enormous colonial-style home of Charlene and Bailey Smith was in Highland Park, the wealthiest suburb just north of Dallas, and was reminiscent of Gone with the Wind. It was certainly not subtle, and they made no attempt to hide their money, but they had taste as well. Charlene was third-generation oil money from Houston and was one of the richest women in Texas. And Bailey came from wealth of more human scale, made from land development, commercial real estate, and more recently, shopping malls. He had a sixth sense for great investments. His fortune didn't match his wife's, but he had enormous personal wealth, and together they were a force to be reckoned with on the Dallas social scene. They were civic-minded and philanthropic and had built a hospital for handicapped children and given millions to breast cancer research. Charlene was on the board of countless worthwhile charities. At 46, she was strong, sure of herself, and outspoken, and had a good heart. Bailey tended to be more diplomatic and gentler with people. Whenever someone wanted money for a charitable donation of Olympic proportions or an angel investor to start a business, they went to Bailey. He was brilliant in business, but also had a soft heart. He was 51, and they had just celebrated their 25th anniversary. They had a solid marriage and two daughters, Araminta and Felicity. Their oldest daughter, Araminta, was 22 years old. She had gone to the best private girls' school in Dallas, was a lackluster student, and had opted not to go to college. Neither of her parents was surprised, though her father was somewhat disappointed. He would have liked to see her at least try to get an education, or even pretend to. Araminta loved going to parties and drinking too much, staying out late, dating all the rich, handsome bad boys in Dallas, wearing beautiful clothes, and stealing her mother's most expensive gowns when she could get away with it. She was a gorgeous girl, with raven dark hair, translucent white skin, and big blue eyes. 